Once you've written your first draft, we lead you through some, we, 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 we show you how to bring your book alive with something called Story Speak. Story Speak moves your book, it moves your book from, from being just a manual, just a list of steps to do it. We, we replace it with some true stories, maybe one or two or three true stories to illustrate what you're talking about uh, in each chapter. For example, if you're doing a, a chapter about, you're writing a book about renovating your kitchen and, and you're doing a, a, a chapter about the, 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 the risk of taking shortcuts, you might tell a little story about the night you invited your boss and his wife over for dinner and the wife put the, her bag down or her purse down on the kitchen counter and turned her back to talk and suddenly the, the, the upper cabinet fell and crushed everything in her purse because she took a shortcut and didn't do it properly. These are amusing stories which keep the reader interested because, you know, there are, there are thousands of poorly written self-help books out there which are not entertaining. A good self-help book also has to be entertaining. So we, we show you with, with, with story speak, which has four different techniques for bringing your book alive. Even if you're a non-writer, bring your book alive with stories and anecdotes to make it more interesting.